From Continental Airlines Arena in East Rutherford, New Jersey, the Yes Network presents NBA basketball. Tonight, the Nets look to build on an impressive win last night as they host Kevin Garnett and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And it might be overcast outside, but the stars are in the building tonight. There's Kevin Garnett, Jay Kidd, and VC are in the building. The big three look to put a big hurt on the Timberwolves tonight. Stay tuned, I'll talk with Lawrence Frank about tonight's matchup with Kevin Garnett and the rest of the Timberwolves when the Infinity Nets pregame show comes back right after this. The Nets got the party started Friday night, turning back the clock. It looked like old times. The defense woke up, the team found its fast break, and the big three finally ran free. Tonight, they must gear up for Kevin Garnett with a pre-New Year's dance with the Wolves. The champagne is on ice. The confetti is ready. Is a win in the mix to finish 2006. Next on Yes. Here on the Yes Network, our crew always in a festive mood. They're ready to bring in the new year. And for the Nets, it's the final game of 2006 as we welcome you to Continental Airlines Arena in the Meadowlands. It's the Nets facing the Minnesota Timberwolves. Both teams playing back to back. Both coming off victory. Well, last night in the Nets went in Miami. Vince Carter had one of his best all around games. He scored 23 points and also showed his passing skills. So along with hitting eight for 18, he came up with a season high nine assists. Now he was pleased with the assist number, but Vince still looking to hit double digits in that department. Last night's effort, Lawrence Frank wants this team to come out and I'm sure in the first six minutes at least establish a little rhythm at the offensive end. Don't settle for the first shot, but make sure they really attack this Timberwolves team single night and that's a testament to the way he plays and prepares himself in terms of field goal attempts they shoot well but they don't shoot often here's jefferson well richard jefferson takes advantage of the turnover yeah it looks like carter ready to go with his assists we just touched on it garnish you know shoots the ball pretty well so an effective guy to play alongside garnett oh what a play beautiful spin by carter and where were and you take a look at Vince Carter coming down. Watch for the big swing right into the middle of the lane and then follows it up with his shoulders at least coming towards the basket. And, well, he's a tough out right there when he's doing that. With the Timberwolves, Carter from straight away. A lot of move motion away from the basketball, too, there with Carter running that left side. Carter being played by Davis. Nice pump fake. Carter on the tip. So Carter with the follow, tipping it home. And he had to go a little quicker just then because as he got by Davis, Garnett was sitting right behind him. So that little quick shot, but then Vince knew it was off and went right after it. Carter back. Hassel goes right at him. And a nice job by Vince Carter draws the offensive foul. Yeah, there's a combination of Carter anticipating correctly and Hassel making the wrong decision. Watch Vince is just going to slide in there into position takes it right there in the chest so a good play by Vince Carter to establish and anticipate at the same time well Williams goes with a long pass and Carter puts it in and the T-Wolves felt that Carter was pushing off Vince Carter with a good start four of eight from the field nine points T-Wolves at home with the third quarter and the Nets lead the T-Wolves 56-54. Nice pass. It counts to the foul. Carter with the assist. And Jefferson to the line looking for a three-point play. Uh, part of what happens right there is Carter goes up to the top of the key area, and that pulls the eyes of the defensive team looking at him. And then all of a sudden, you can get a backdoor cut because James is looking at Carter to see what he's going to do. Very well timed, though, from Jefferson going along the baseline. Five points, Garnett with four assists and nine rebounds. Carter, first bucket in quite a while. Akbar up front. Good job by Carter finding Nutbar wide open for a three. And when he gets that elevation on his shot and lofts the ball higher in the air, last night he started off well. That's getting sloppy here in the fourth. Jefferson had a chase of down. Leaves two on the clock, down to one, and Carter has to fling. And score! at home with a desperation he's from downtown run that play again yeah <laughs> that looked pretty good take a look at this play again Mar RJ just keeps it in play Jefferson and then Carter 
How do you describe that, huh? Just throw it up there. He knew what the shot clock was. The recognition was there. And the 12-point lead. Nice play. Not far from Carter. All right. That is one way to get you look at this play, the quick cross here, and then let's go back There's right to the middle. Now. Boy, Can terrific. You are now 8 of 20 from downtown. Boy, oh. able to penetrate, and an offensive foul has been called. It is on four. Great job by Carter just then. Two plays in that series. Carter with the step in as Foy was out of control. The other end of the floor. Knockbar not shooting the basketball and delivers. All right, Jim, a career night for Mikey Moore. Again, the final score, the Nets 100 and the T-Wolves 92. Coming up next, the Nissan Post Game. Nets basketball on Yes is produced by Frank DeGrace, directed by John Wilson. Tonight's free game at halftime, produced by Bill Bowman, the supervising producer, Woody Fryman, and the executive producer, John Filippelli. Nets and the Bulls, Friday night, game time, 7.30. Our coverage begins at 7 right here on Yes. So for Jim Spinarco and our entire crew, I'm Marv Albert, back with some final thoughts in just a moment. Chris Sheeran and the post game is next. Happy New Year, everyone, from all of us here at Yes. Saying thanks for watching, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your night.